Oh, that's loud. That is loud. I think that's that's good enough. Um, welcome back, everybody. What's going on, guys? The Ultimate Gamer 19 here, and welcome to part four or part five. I'm not too sure of Let's Play The Sims Medieval. After the dreadful hours of waiting for my dad to, vac to finally finish vacuuming, and I actually did record this, but my game crashed and you guys wondering you guys are wondering why I haven't uploaded Sims Medieval is because this game keeps crashing uh, so I have even less time to record I was initially going to record ar around a 20 minute episode but that's gonna go down to 10 to 15 minutes so if we don't get too much done I'm gonna try my best to get a lot done in this part so in the last episode we were going to align ourselves with other nations foreign nations and to do that we had to poison them and then give them antidotes in uh, exchange for the loyalty that they will give us so let's go ahead and go to live mode and actually uh, brew up a a poisonous potion well not potion a poisonous drink what the heck and to do that uh, Thank you guys for the advice. I haven't really... I was really blind, I guess. I didn't know about this. But thank you guys for the advices. We're going to go ahead and brew up um, some some drinks here. I think. I think we'll do it over there. No, we should go to the Royal Hall. We should go to that new room. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I think it's like right next to right here. So let's go ahead and look at this here. It's going to take a little bit. And then we're going to brew up a bit. Some wine. I mean, what can go wrong with wine? I already know what happens, by the way, since I did initially, I did record this. And we're going to serve the tampered drink, a 10-year itch poison. Is it itch poison? To whom would you like to give a drink? I have no idea. Wait, why can't we give a drink to anybody? Why can't we give a drink to somebody? What the heck? Maybe we'll go back to the castle. We'll go back to the castle. And then we're going to go up here and brew it, I guess. A wine. Okay, let's see if it works here. Oh, it works here, huh? Okay. Maybe it's because we were in a different we were in a different area, and that's why it didn't work. Um, so we're gonna give it to Smith 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 Master Eugene of Craft Hole. Oh gosh, here I go again with my slurred up names, and he's like looking around to see if anyone's gonna watch him, and then he pours in the drink, and it fizzes up, and he's like, "Oh, that stinks." I hope this is the right guy I'm giving it to. This is right, right? Okay, I'm right. And you have to give it to Tregorith after that, afterwards. So let's go ahead and do that. Serve a tempered drink. Oh gosh, I thought, okay. Oh, there's Tregorith. Trigger, that's a woman, by the way. I, I realized it was a woman, and I thought it was a guy at first, but it's actually a woman. And you already have a drink, it appears, but my drink is actually much more better than that one right there. Yeah. Well, actually, I did make that one, so it is mine. But still, your other drinks can be better than that one drink you just made, right? That is possible. Obviously. And Eugene of Craftle seems to be taking in the poison very slowly. I haven't really... Actually, I think he's, like, sp like spit it out a bit, I think. We haven't said anything yet because we haven't given anything to this woman yet. So he's like, thank you for the drink. And you're sleeping. You're not sleeping. You're drinking in my room, by the way. I don't know why you go up here to do that. But yeah. Oh, she's... And I know what happens after she drinks it. It's really unfortunate, but it is what I have to do. Blah! Gads, what? Okay. That was terribly... That was terribly bitter. What in the watch's name was that? But Smith, but Smith Master Eugene of Crafto, how do we even know that Lord Adam isn't just bluffing us? I, for one, feel just... <coughs> yes, I did all the voice acting in my previous recording, but then, yeah. Hmm. That's my friend, it's called Poison. You just drank the ten-year itch, and if you do not heed my commands, I shall withhold the antidote and let you die. Obey me, on the other hand, and I will spare your life. The choice is yours. Yeah, I added extra poison to your guard's mug just to show that I'm not bluffing. So, your loyalty for my antidote then? What choice have I? You have a deal. Give me the antidote and let me leave with my life, if not my dignity. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Dragorith is going to die. And I have to admit, this Grim Reaper looks really bad butt. And I said bad butt because I didn't want to say A word. But you can say the A word because it is actually a donkey. 
So he's a. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say it for the sake of my audience. Okay, we're gonna send you off to meet your spouse. By the way, it's already been five minutes. How surprising! Give Smith Master the antidote for exchange for loyalty. We'll do that. Merchant Prince Parker of Tredney, I know you've had your cravings on the side, but you won't need to do that anymore, my ally. Please. Travel into the woods and see what we have prepared for you. Stay loyal to me. Merchant Prince Parker of Chedney, I know how to take care of my friends. So now we're giving the antidote to his face. And now we have to wait. And now in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and make some food. I actually want to eat in the, the royal dining room, whatever it was called. The royal is, I'm just call it the royal dining room. I don't care. It is a dining room. And we're going to use this oven over here. Gonna make that bear beef, broiled bear. Okay, whatever. Close enough. Close enough. I actually wanna change my outfit too, but red is an evil color to me, so I'm gonna keep this outfit. And thank you guys for the advices. If if I ask for anything else, hopefully you guys can answer those too. You can you know you guys are experts and I am a noob at this, so a lot a lot of the feedback is appreciated. So thank you guys a lot and thank uh Thank you guys for... What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Man, I forgot. Oh, well, brain fart. I don't think I, well, I was gonna say anything. But happy Friday, by the way. Hopefully all of you are having a wonderful day. I had a pretty decent day, so how was yours? Interested to know, as usual, and guess what? There's two more days until my second year anniversary here on YouTube, so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh... Although I don't have anything planned for that two year anniversary special, I haven't really made a video and I apologize for that. I, re I really wanted to make one. Maybe another time later, like I can make a late second year anniversary video. But for now, I'm really busy when it comes to school and all. Like I'm getting a lot more busier and I'm getting more plans for some reason. Uh, as because I'm going to tell you guys the reason why I'm eating. Since I missed a lot of days from the snow, the bad weather. Um, the government's, you know, we passed our calamity days, and calamity days are how many days you can miss from school without having to serve it at the end of the year. So we missed more than that, and the government gave us around 45 days more. So uh, we had to make up the three days at the end of the year, but instead of actually going to school for those th last three days that we had to make up, uh, teachers gave us um, packets in order to, you know, three days worth of work, and that is actually a lot. And I've been stressing out a lot for some reason, but... I'm trying my best not to because, you know, it's not due until later down the line, so that makes me a lot happier. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to stress too much about it, about it, and I'm almost done, so we'll see. So let's go and check to loyalty status with him. I think that's all I need to discuss, and I did say all those things in the, the video that got crashed and all of that. So yeah, wanted to repeat what I said. I think that's what that, that's what a gulp was. If you heard that, that is a gulp, and it sounds really weird. I got to try all those things I was never allowed to do before. No, you know, and was forced to try some new things I've never even thought of. What can I say? I'm your eternal pawn to command, your highness. Thanks. I can picture people with medieval in the medieval have some type of accents. Uh, uh yeah. So. I'm going to try my best to voice act in a more realistic way as possible, if that's probably not what they talk like, but who cares. Uh, quest completed. With renewed respect from high-ranking officials of the neighboring nations, Lord Adam solidified his place as ruler of all of Potopia. For going well above and beyond the call of duty, <laughs> the advisor was allowed to go home that day an hour earlier. It, is truly was, it truly was a great day for the kingdom. Huzzah! <coughs> Running out of breath. Um, we are now level 4 in our monarch status. We get 1,000 simoleons and we get more RP, which is, I think, something points. Forgot. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. I know it. I know it. I will find out after this video. Okay. Oh, resources. Resource points? Resource? I don't know. Resources. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. We got um, the steel defense combat tone unlocked and fighting proficiency increased as usual each level. So now we're going to go ahead and start another quest, although I might not be able to finish this one. 
But we're going to go ahead and start on this anyways because I think we can save during a quest, if I hope so. Uh, Potopio is abuzz with the news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to Kingdom Morale. So, this was the quest I initially... I say initially, a lot in this episode, I saw it. Um, I was going to start first and I'm going to do it right now. Find the missing child any way you can. And we'll do diplomacy. Diploma diplomacy. News came from the town crier this morning that a villager's child has gone missing. As ruler of the land, it is my duty to see this child return safely to the family. Um, I should see speak with my advisor for more details. So we're going to have to talk to Alana. And I don't think she's at the castle at the moment. So um, maybe it's because it's a little too early. So we're going to have uh, Lord Adam go ahead and go up to bed a bit. Rest up before his next quest. So we're going to have him sleep. And he has some pent up anger, by the way. So we're going to have to get rid of that pretty soon when he gets up. We're going to yell at somebody. Yeah. I'm going to take a sip of some punch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, we have to hunt and kill a great bear. Do we have to do that? I don't want to do that. Oh, it's a responsibility. Hunt to kill a great bear. The slaying of a great bear will re re the people of this kingdom and thin out the ever-growing population of great bears in the nearby forest. And the last, uh, actually, no. Um, the last time I tried to record this, I thought that was an actual quest I had to do. Apparently, I didn't have to do that. That was just, like, a little side quest I could do. I think you have to do this, but I don't think you do. Okay. So, let's go ahead and wake up Adam. Sorry, you didn't get fully rested, but can't sleep all the time, right? We had to get to business. Let's get down to business. And that was terrible for me to say. Okay, can you get your butt up? Okay, thank you. So let's go ahead and investigate the disturbance that may be going on here. Um, alas, the child has been gone missing. A few of the villagers claim to have seen a small boy hiding around the town. Perhaps there's some way for me to help find him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go click on these choices, and we have the options of going to meet with the subjects to gather information, or we can write documents declaring the child missing and spreading them around the kingdom. Now, you would think, uh, oh, this is what I thought. I would, I would write a paper and let everybody know and get, spread it around the kingdom. That would be a great idea, right? I'm not saying anything against this. I was just saying it like that for some reason. Um... But we're going to meet with the subjects to gather information. I'm going to do that. That's what I did before. The good people can of the land will surely land in here on my quest to find the child. So we're going to go ahead and ask a townsperson about a missing child. Is this a townsperson? Okay, we'll do that. We'll ask and build Master Irwin. Too lazy. Oh, we need to yell at somebody too. Bad night's sleep. I know. I'm sorry. Didn't get to sleep. I don't want to yell at her. She's a woman. I know. Good man, Christopher. Let's uh, be mean and argue with him. Don't want Lord Adam being in a bad mood. I think I saw a little boy down by the beach. Maybe that's him. Alright, so search the beach. Alright, we'll do that. Where is the Eye of the Watcher? I think that's it. Eye of the Watcher. So, where's the beach? Is this the beach? That is the beach. Okay, we're on our way to the beach. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, speed this up. Hmm. Oh, look at these people. Oh, Donna. Oh, Christopher. Oh, they're the people, the guy I yelled at and the girl I didn't want to yell at. They're here. Okay. So we're going to search the beach. It doesn't even seem like there's a child here. There is no child here. Stupid peasant. I hope the next one isn't as incompetent. So I guess we're going to have to go ask another townsperson about the missing child. Let's ask Donna. Forseer Donna, right? Farseer? Farseer. I don't know. Sounds like a sidekick to me for some reason. I don't think that's it, though. That child? Shit, I saw him playing near the forest. She's incompetent. Watch. We're not going to find the child. I I just doubt it. We're not going to find this child. Everyone is going to lie to us or something. And make us, like, get out of this kingdom for no reason. And then they're going to burn down the castle. I know it for a fact. <laughs> uh, judgment zone. Where's the forest at? Is this the forest? I think this is the forest. And this is the exact same spot where we have to kill a bear. Yeah. 
Great. So, hmm. Running to the forest. We're like really walking really fast because of the time thingy. Uh, but like, how can you walk? Can't you run? It just looks silly. So, what? There's no child here either? Is every citizen of my city completely incompetent? I think that is the case. Let's go ask uh, uh, the guard, Taurus. Maybe he knows something about the chi missing child. Sure, I saw him. He's over at the town square right now. You better not lie to me or I will send you to the stocks. Confirm details. What? Oh. Maybe it's for this quest. Uh, okay, we'll go check that out. Why not? No, I don't want... Uh, what, what am I talking about? Okay, we'll just confirm this. I'm not sure if I believe this one. Yes, my lord. I swear he's right there now. He's there right now. You better not be lying to me. You know, you better not be lying to me. If you do, you're going to be sent to the stocks. And that's just how I'm going to do, do, do just that. Off to we go off there we go you know whatever to that location praise the watcher I think that's him <gasps> it's the child <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a child is that right I don't think I've ever seen a child in this game right I think I'm blind I think I have no I haven't okay we'll just talk to him ask about his appearance but you little babies Little babies. Little babies. I don't know why I got so excited about that. But seriously though, I have not seen a child like throughout yeah, I've not seen one yet. Now here's one. I had thought that the king had become out of touch with the people, but you've clearly shown me wrong. Okay, so is this done already? I better hope this is done. That'd be just in time too. That'd be really good. Quest completed! Awesome! Alright. And just in time for it to end the episode, but I'm going to read this real quick. The child has been found and safely returned home. Hurrah! Uh, I guess that's, that's what a te that, uh, that was a test to see if I actually cared about my people, and I, I showed him who's, who, who's the boss. Uh, so now we're level 5, and we have the Mortal Blow special combat move unlocked, Furious Onslaught combat tone unlocked, and Fighting Proficiency increased. Um, we haven't really gotten to combat that much, and in the next episode, we'll probably do that. So I'm going to practice fighting and all of that stuff, and some more stories to come. So if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up, and if you want to continue watching this series or any other series that you're interested in, why not click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll be notified of when I upload and what I upload. Uh, follow my social networks such as Facebook, and you'll be notified of some details, some updates, and all of that early stuff. If you want a preview or whatever of what's to come, then always go to my Facebook and I also reply to all of you guys' comments, um, probably not all, but as much as I can, I'll keep in touch with you guys as much as I can because I love you guys. And without you all, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, so hopefully all of you have a wonderful Friday, until then, stay awesome and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya!